Hello and welcome to this Power Query tutorial with me, James from MathStar Software. And we're looking at using Power Query within the context of Power BI and simulating a real world scenario. So that could be, um, we are trying to potentially compare the values of two files. Now, a common scenario would be that we've perhaps performed a data migration and we need to check the quality between two files. We can do this in Power Query with different data sources. Or in this case, we can simulate that we have one um, table coming from our SQL data warehouse and we have another table or file that's just been spread around. And as you can see here, it's just Excel data um, that have changed slightly. And quite often stakeholders want Excel data, but they may modify this and it can take away from the dynamic nature of our data warehouse being the, the single source of truth. So what we can do, the first thing that we can actually do here to compare these, the SQL that we already have loaded and the Excel files, simply to click new source um, and select the relevant Excel file. So we'll do that. Once we've verified that everything looks okay, we can load this in and you see in our query here, we have the folder uh, data comparison or the group. And we just want to verify um, that the column headers are the same across both files, um, just because uh, there's no mapping capabilities. So we need to make sure they are, um, they are accurate. So that looks good. And you'll notice that the only difference here actually very small sample size you know you could be comparing a million values and this is where you know power query comes into play or several hundreds of thousands of rows potentially so i've just changed two departments um the values in them so essentially what we will look for um is a difference in the matching between two values so five rows should be okay two shouldn't match now we can use merge to perform a left outer join and we'll just use as you would simulating a primary key that would likely be an integer like an employee ID in the users table. And we can join it here with the most common join the left outer where we get all values from first and the matching from the second column. And as you can see, it matches seven values, which is what we want because we're not at the stage where we're comparing columns. We just want to join our table together. So we can click to expand and the only column we actually require because we said we were sure the inaccuracies were in department. So we can load that up. And now on the left hand four columns, we have our data from SQL. And on the right, we have the departments from our local file. And as we saw on line one, IT support and administration are not a match. Um, and on line five, finance and sales are not a match. So we're really gonna look at those two files with our method um, to show false in the sense of a match so that we can filter this accurately. So from here, we can just, the first method I'm going to show you of three, we can add a column and we'll just call this something like, you know, match check. Um, now this is a really simple way to do it and you use the GUI. So instead of actually using the if statement in our conditional column and looking for a value, we can actually just compare um, a different column. So we can just say, if the value in department matches our local version, the non-SQL, the Excel department, output match in a new column. If not, say no match. And then what we can do is just filter by those which aren't matches. And as you can see, as we expected, that was on row one and row five. Very simple to see here. We know where the problem is, but if you're looking at hundreds of thousands plus rows, um, this is very, very helpful. So I can change the type just to text and then I can filter by no match and we get those results there. Now, I said I would give you two more examples um, and these are very simple custom columns uh, rather than having to go into uh, other more complex M functions, which you definitely can, uh, but we're not going to right now. So a second method that we can use is to add a custom column. We can name it again, match check, and in this case, simply all that we need to do is say um, where the department, so the SQL department column is equal to um, the Excel, so the, the Excel department column. And if we click OK, that will give us those false and true values again. 
uh, just not in the in the text format that we saw with match and no match and we can filter by those values that are false because that will show us the outliers in our two different data sources. Now in this next example with again a custom column what we can do is essentially just repeat this step but instead of equals we can use less than and greater than operator to uh, to signify is not equal to and that will essentially just flip around the true and false values um, and then we can go from there and filter by those two true values because they don't um, equate to equal values now you could go ahead from here and use the m functions list.remove matching items or table.remove matching rows um, but for now uh, we're going to close it off there and as usual if you like the content please feel free to like comment subscribe and share thank you